Resident Evil 3. I had high hopes for this game, as you can tell by the title. What I mean by this is that I loved the Resident Evil 2 remake to the point of beating it over 10 times and buying everything for it. The unlock key, the uniforms, everything. I, sp I spent way too much money on it. That was my go-to game after I got off work because it was always fun and always scary no matter how many times you beat it and no matter what weapon you had. Those RPD hallways are always terrifying with the dark corners and the bodies just laying everywhere. It probably smells really bad, but you know what? We can't smell through Leon's nose. I mean, you can try, so... <laughs> you never know when Mr. X is gonna give it to you is right around the corner about to punch your face into the next bad Resident Evil spinoff. I'm looking at you, Revelations. Anyway, back to Resident Evil 2. Leon is my favorite character in all of Resident Evil lore, right in front of Boulder Punching Man, aka Chris Redfield. He's just a dumbass who wants to save Raccoon City, which ends up putting him down the line of single-handedly saving the president's daughter from a cult in Spain. Good job, Leon. Get well soon. I really need to get into a habit of not rambling. I... that... yeah. Anyways, the game was awesome and I still play it to this day. It did everything right for a remake that I wanted. Resident Evil 3 didn't really do the same thing. Don't get me wrong, it was a fun game. A very fun short game. I'm not even joking about this. I'm a guy who in every game that I play, I look at everything. Read all the lore, unlock everything, find all the secrets. And I did that for this game. And still beat it in four hours. That's bad. I spent $60 on this game. And I'm not even lying, that's a ripoff. It should have been 20 or 40. And I'm gonna ramble one more time. What the fuck is this dodge mechanic? It doesn't work half the fucking time. I can't tell you how many times I dodged and still got hit, especially with the hunters. Fuck these things, by the way. The story of the game was the same as the original. I mean, it wasn't bad. They had a lot of cut content, which that's all that I hear about from the original to the remake is the cut content. But I didn't really notice, a, you know, it didn't really affect me. And I want to talk about this guy real quick who had a screen time of total of like 20 seconds. Come on, don't look at me like that, alright? I'm not an effect. No, 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 wait, please! No. Finally, I want to talk about Nemesis. I don't think he's as intimidating as Mr. X. He was more scary in the demo. When you first see him, he sprints at you like Usain Bolt and punches you with the might of Zeus. But I don't think I saw him run once in the actual game. And the boss battles were really repetitive. Especially the last two, which were right after another. You run in circles, shoot at it when it stops, that's about it. Resident Evil has a long history of boring boss battles, so I won't be too harsh on it. The hunters are more scary than Nemesis, if I'm being completely honest. They take all your ammo, and they can fucking one-tap you. Overall, I found it very disappointing for how short it was and what it was compared to the Resident Evil 2 remake. I mean, we all just kind of wanted more. Now, if they would have brought in the clock tower part of the original Resident Evil and put it into the remake, it would have extended the playtime and probably would have made the game a lot better, if I'm being completely honest. But I'm not gonna lie, the game looks beautiful, the story is intriguing, It's there's nothing wrong with it. Just if it was longer and had more original content from the original game that it was sourced from, it would have been a much better game. Now what I'm really hoping is that they give DLC out for free like they did for Resident Evil 7 with a Not A Hero DLC and expand on Jill's story or somebody else's story while the whole thing in Raccoon City is going on. And please include the clock tower, that'd be pretty cool. Thanks you, thank you Capcom, thank you. If you're going to get the game and you haven't already put a whole left nut into purchasing the game, it's not worth the $60 price tag that they're aiming for. Wait for it to go on sale at around Christmas or summer or spring or something like that. Wait for it to go on sale. It's not worth the $60 price tag. At max, I would say $40. And that's if they included a free DLC, which I really hope they're working on. And I'm not even gonna fucking start on this resistance bullshit. What the fuck?